Top experts have said that besides the French Rafale fighter jet, American F 15 EX and Russian Su 35 fighter jets are also head to head for the staggered purchase of 114 fighter jets. The F 15 EX has the advantage of higher speed of Mach 2.5, while the Su 35 is restricted to speeds of Mach 2.2, but the radar of Su 35 is more powerful than F 15 and its radar cross-section is only one-third of F-15. The Su-35 will also have access to 400 km range R-37 hypersonic air-to-air -air systems and the 200 km range upgraded K-77 air-to-air -air system. The F-15's engine thrust is considerably lower than that of the Su-35, which will seriously compromise maneuverability at all ranges, and its ability to evade incoming air-to-air -air systems. The Su-35 also has more advantage in case of visual range combat, and it will easily outmaneuver F-15, even without relying on its three-dimensional thrust vectoring capabilities. Despite the recent statement of Chief of Defense Staff, the Indian Navy is firm on its plans to have a third aircraft carrier, and will approach the government for permission to initiate formal design consultancy. The third aircraft carrier is an operational necessity, and if all permissions are given today, it will take 10 years for the carrier to be inducted. The Chinese Navy plans to operate 10 aircraft carriers by 2049, and India has to decide whether it wants to play a bigger game in the global maritime structure. The RDO has successfully tested an indigenously developed anti-drone system yesterday, and the system has also been deployed to detect, identify and target any unauthorized unmanned aerial vehicles, during the roadshow of Prime Minister Modi and US President Donald Trump. Top officials have said, that India's ramjet artillery shells will certainly be less expensive when compared to systems that have a range of over 60 kilometers, and there is also scope for exporting this type of shells to friendly foreign countries. A working prototype will be ready within the next three years, which would be compatible with all the existing artillery systems of both foreign and Indian origin. Indian Air Force had inducted Chinook helicopters on 25 March 2019, and as per latest media reports, India has started operationalizing Chinook helicopters along the borders with Pakistan and China, and they have started ferrying heavy military equipments to high-altitude locations. During the visit of U.S. President to India, U.S. and India might declare the date for signing the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement between the two countries. India and U.S. might also sign the order for additional 8 P-8 maritime aircraft for the Indian Navy, a NASAMS-2 shield for New Delhi, $2.4 billion deal for 24 MH-60 helicopters, $930 million deal for 6 Apache helicopters for the Indian Army, which were also approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security this week.